Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy. This is my little 10 minute window to the rest of the world. This is a bit of a weird departure episode. I haven't really been able to do much of this show. Uh, simply because, as many of you know, for the past half a year I've been dealing with a shoulder injury situation. And about two days ago I got the surgery. And uh, I got the stitches in my arm right now. I'm taping this because this is a partial recovery episode. I just wanted to document a little bit of this for the show at this particular time of my life. I can show you the metal stitches. If you are squeamish, this is a, your chance to look away. Okay, look away. Okay, there it is. Yeah, there's one on the bar back, far back too. It's legit. It almost looks like makeup, but I can assure you that, really assure you that it's real. And uh, it's, it's still a couple of days before Halloween, but I still don't think this is going to work into a Halloween costume or anything. So, okay, for those of you who are squeamish, you can look again. So, that's why I, I was clean shaven. I look, I got a super short haircut and a super short shave because I knew it was going to grow into my werewolf looking self again eventually. That's where I am right now. I'm going to continue binge watching some things with watching, I binge watched The Munsters. And uh, some Halloween food network stuff. Deep in the woods lurks a haunted camp for lost bakers. All of a sudden, we're in a horror movie. This way, guys. On a killer new season of Halloween Baking Championship. There are ten of you for now. But I really can't do a whole lot right now. But like I said, I just want to document this a little bit. And the rest of this episode, I assure you, will be interesting. Starting right now. Okay, um, it's been a couple of days since I last recorded. You can see the stubble on my face is going back in. I did a complete smooth shaving before I did the surgery and I got a nice short haircut, but my hair still looks kind of short, but it looks, it looks all right. I still have the issue here. Wait a minute. See, this is still the thing. But I think I'm gonna try to do just for S's and G's while I have this as a reference. You know, it's not often you get real life references like this. I think I'm gonna do some oops. Some makeup test. It's been a while since I've messed around with the nose putty and the blood and see if I can actually replicate that. So whoops. With some nose putty. Keeping you guys in stitches here. This year Halloween is on a Saturday, so come in to Le where they have everything for the perfect monster mash. The eeriest of costumes, the most frighteningly wonderful makeup, and accessories that will knock your eyes out. All this plus everything you need for your party. Halloween at Le it's not just for kids anymore. Oh, look at me, leaving the house with Ken. I don't even have a coat on and I don't care. This is kind of nice. Oh, here comes Lisa. We've been busted. No! Here she comes. Bye. Bye. Where are you going? Just Walmart. Okay. Or Halloween store. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm recording. <laughs> This should be a moment in time here, man. <laughs> Wait a second. Um, I'm good. I, I'm all right. It's just, it's, I'm just not gonna go very fast. All right, it's not touching that, fortunately. So there you go. Yeah. Oh, it looks. It's, it's all right. It's all down here. 
Wow, look at us, leaving the house. I feel really good. We're gonna go to Walmart to see if we can find some other cheapy, cheesy Halloween makeup and stuff since I'm gonna be home alone for a while. And you don't get reference material like this very often. So. Hey, look at this, they still got the pumpkins out. Sorry, I put the camera work. That was the saddest camera <laughs> work. Built above the charred remains of a child labor factory lies Kingdom Hospital. <gasps> Someone there? What was once buried is now reborn with a vengeance. What are you? Peter, my God. The thrilling top rated miniseries. There, did you hear that? From the haunting imagination of Stephen King. It's like the whole mess is healing itself at warp speed. What did you see, Dr. Hook? I'm not sure. Things have changed here at Kingdom Hospital, and something has awakened. What happened here? Kingdom Hospital. I'm afraid. Who are you afraid of? All right, we were able to score this. So I'm going to apply this to me and see how well I can apply it with the given materials they've given me. And we got this too, which is this dirty skin, which I looks interesting. A powdered dried mud. So I'm gonna try those things out too. You guys are eating burgers? Hey, summer's over. Halloween's coming. You gotta stay in shape for all the costumes. What's that? You know, like attractive nurse, spicy red riding hood, Viking princess warrior, hot devil, sassy teacher, and foxy fullback. Touchdown. Can we go over the Viking lady again? Whatever you're staying fit for, start at Subway. To be continued. Okay. Good till 8 o'clock, actually. This is the happy hour of my man, it's the beginning of it, which is perfect timing because I'm gonna put up with this guy who's coming for a quick visit. This has been a really broken up episode. Yeah, I can tell. Okay, um, yeah, so. <laughs> a little bit of Halloween. All right, let me get into the car here. Is that a score? $25 leather coat. Yep. Trench it. Some Makes savers. me feel like a, I'm like Neo in the Matrix. Oh, I was thinking Shaft, but yeah, I see that. Okay, yeah, I I'll go with Shaft. Damn right. Shaft will do it. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a quick visit because there's a small window of opportunity of happiness on my med pills. Yeah, we're just gonna go and get some food. Yeah, because the nurse ordered it. This will only hurt a little. Yep. This is my nurse. Yep, and she's saying you need to get out of the house and, and she's, get something to eat. She's right. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere, America's number one author just met his number one fan. I think Paul Sheldon might be in some kind of trouble. You must be a good man. You could never have created such a wondrous, loving creature as Misery Chastain. Very kind. She loves everything he's ever written. Oh, Paul. What a poet you are. Until now. How could you? Annie. You murdered my misery! Ah! No! Directed by Rob Reiner. Whatever you think I'm not doing. Please don't. From the novel by Stephen King. Trust me, it's for the best. God, I love you. Misery. Start Friday, November 30th at Select Theatre. There's a murder outside. You're going. Scared him away. It's an Annie. For Andy, I have six more yams. With some <gasps> luscious, <gasps> brand new beer bread. Oh. All right, the family's out going to the flea market and um, home alone with the bird. Right, bird? I'm gonna get so shy all of a sudden. So I'm gonna throw some Halloween music on and then uh, I'm gonna take a shower.